Hi there, I'm Chef Eric Crowley, owner of the Culinary Classroom in Los Angeles, and today we're gonna to make white chocolate ganache. Let's get started. For this recipe, we're going to need about three quarters of a cup of heavy cream or manufacturing cream. We're also gonna need a really good quality of white chocolate. This is seven ounces. Ghirardelli, Kaibo, Guitard, all of those chocolates work really well for this dish. For our white chocolate ganache, we are going to start off with our three quarters of a cup of heavy cream or manufacturing cream. The first step that we need to do with this cream is we need to scald it. So we're going to be putting the cream into a pot and we're gonna to start to heat it up on like a medium or to medium low heat until it starts to scald. And what we're looking for as far as scalding is we're actually looking for bubbles to come around the rim of the pot. So I'm gonna be heating this up, and while it's heating up, I'm gonna chop up my chocolate. And for chopping the chocolate, we're gonna wind up utilizing a bread knife or a serrated knife. I find that the edge of this allows the chocolate to get chopped up much more rapidly than a standard chef's knife. And I like to start off with the corner of the chocolate and almost like shave the chocolate, if you will. Tip of the knife is gonna stay in contact with the cutting board. Back of the knife is gonna do the cutting. And I'm basically gonna move the knife forward and down as I wind up doing the cut. You're gonna find when you wind up doing this compared to chopping up dark chocolate, white chocolate has uh, no cocoa powder in it at all. This is basically cocoa fat or cocoa butter. So it's gonna wind up chopping up and it's gonna have a little bit softer of a consistency than dark chocolate or milk chocolate. And I can hear that my cream is starting to scald. I'm gonna turn the heat off on that or lower it a little bit and continue to chop up the chocolate. I have some nice thin slivers. I'm gonna take my knife and go across so now I have some nice little chunks. The smaller you cut your chocolate, the quicker it's going to melt. After we wind up getting the chocolate melted, or chopped up rather, we're gonna go ahead and put it into a bowl. And at this time, our cream has a skin forming on the top of it. You can actually see that there were bubbles all around the rim of the pot. This is what we call scalded. I'm gonna take the chocolate and put it into the center of the bowl. Found one piece there that's a little bit big. I'm gonna break it down a little bit. I'm gonna pour the scalded cream right over the chocolate. I'm gonna take my spatula and scrape out as much of this cream as I can. Really important at this time that we actually let the mixture sit for a good minute or two. Rubber spatula is gonna go right into the center. The hot cream is gonna to start to melt the chocolate. And after a few moments, you can take your spatula and start to slowly stir it, working from the inside towards the outer edges. And you'll see that the hot cream is starting to melt the white chocolate almost immediately. Once it gets completely melted and combined, we will have our white chocolate ganache. This particular mixture could also be used to fill cakes. Could even be used as a frosting. While it's still really warm, of course, it'll be very, very soupy and pourable. And as it cools off, and it will firm up. And that is our white chocolate ganache. After we have our chocolate completely melted with the hot cream, We'll wind up taking this mixture and we'll chill it down slightly so it firms up. And this white chocolate ganache can be used for uh, frosting cakes. It can be used for filling uh, pastries. Uh, it can be used for uh, filling cakes as well. And this is white chocolate ganache. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click on other links so you can get other recipes. If you don't see something that interests you, email a request to requests at mahalo.com. Also be sure to subscribe so you can get lots of wonderful additional information. Thanks and I'll see you soon.